Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some new Eden Fleet Works and today we're going to be doing something a little bit similar to the combat testing that we did before. I still expect to wholeheartedly die in a fiery ball of death. That being said, there will be a slight change to how I go about it. Um, and so real quick, let me just explain. I said this in the past, uh, these ships that I'm working on, the frigates, which is the size of the ship, the approximate size of the ship, this is a frigate sitting before you. Um, and one of the smallest ship types that you can fly in EVE. It is too small in Star Made to dock drones. Um, because I need a drone bay. I, if I showed you the Velator, you would be like, oh, there's no way in hell that I'd be able to get a ship through there that was actually worth flying. Uh, or a drone, I should say. Because uh, there's just not enough interior space. If we look real quick at how big the default dock size is, it's quite large. And if you can imagine two, even three of these things taking up the interior space of the ship, it's it's quite a large amount. It kind of detracts from what I can do inside of the ship. Uh, it forces me to build differently, uh, significantly differently, and uh, it's just not a good idea to try and force something this large into a ship this small. Um, and some of the drones are even larger than this, right? Some of the drones are even larger, and it's just not a good idea. I don't want to do it... Um, so I'm not going to, but uh, somebody in the YouTube comments section of my channel has provided me with uh, an alternative solution. I'm not sure if this is exactly something that everybody wants to do with these ships when they download and get them. I'm just saying that this is a really cool idea to kind of represent what a ship should be capable of doing uh, with the drones attached. So, John Rhesus, thank you for your suggestion. Basically what they said is that I should take a drone and attach it to a turret that's floating out into the middle of space. And I've done so. There is a turret dock with a bit of glass armor just so that it's not completely unprotected. And uh, there's the drone. This is an Amar Alkalite 2. This is a Tech 2 drone, which means it's a little bit more powerful. And uh, this is something I made a long time ago, so uh, I probably will be remaking them for a final time sometime in the future. Probably when I get to ships that can actually carry drones, I will redesign all of the drones again for like the last time. Uh, this thing was made before effect blocks were in the game, so the only way to change how much damage a weapon could do was by uh, adding more cannons. So there's enough room on this particular design to add in uh, an overdrive. I'm not entirely sure <clears throat> how much damage I should be making these things do, because I mean drones on their own are capable of taking out frigates certainly helping you while fighting pirate rats, which I'm hope hoping they will be effective against today. So we will be seeing uh, how effective these things are in assisting me against some pirates. I am flying the Breacher, which is this ship that survived the longest against the pirates, and it's also the only one that's complete and ready to fight some pirates right now, so uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, and we'll just uh, spawn in some pirate ships. I have to remember what the hell their names are, so give me a moment. Uh, and catalog. I think we'll go with, uh, I don't even know, actually. Let's see. Okay, I'm scrolling through the big list. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's spawn in. Where did it go? I just saw it. Heron. Garistus Infiltrator. Slash spawn. Mobs. We'll just, we'll just do a, one of these random ones, and we'll shoot down one, and then we'll take on three. How about that? Uh, I have a feeling they will be capable of killing those drone docks, which is kind of bad, but they have their own power and thrust, and hopefully they'll actually use that. I don't know yet, because I've never tested that. Spawn mobs. Uh, Heron. Garistas Infiltrator. One, negative one. Did it do it? Oh, I always mess that up. I always mess that up. Watch my other videos. You'll know that I've always messed that up. Okay, so it's there. I am locking on. Oh, God. Oh, I've lost my lock. How did I lose my lock? Is that just me? Being stupid? <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to be firing. I don't know if I... Uh... I'm actually pretty positive. Oh god. I think I hit the core. Or maybe I broke through the shields. Nope, I broke something though. I'm through the shields.
Oh, you know what? I lost my lock because, um... Damn it. <laughs> you. Go there. <laughs> and you can go there. There. Okay. <laughs> I'm still- I still have, like, a ton of shields. This guy is not really doing much to me. It's not an exciting fight. I just, uh... Oh, I don't even know if I have my turrets activated. <laughs> That's kind of defeating the purpose of this. Um, but it doesn't matter, because I beat the shit out of its core anyway. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, wow, I actually dug quite a bit into that uh, structure there. Okay, so that was without the turrets. It didn't really make it... Di I don't even think it's going to make a difference, to be honest. This ship only has... Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Get it off. Get it off. There we go. That was kind of neat. I busted my way out of that by blowing up their ship a bit. Um, God, okay, so I actually have to turn on the turrets, I believe. Um, which I don't think I did. <laughs> which is kind of defeating the purpose. Uh, activate all AI. And uh, AI config. Turret. Active. Uh, we will have you do select target. I don't actually know if that works because it's never worked for me before. But we'll spawn in two of them this time. Ooh, they just shot at... They just shot at a random enemy. That doesn't make sense. Oh, but I am seeing my turrets firing. So that's good. My drones, I should say. My drones. I don't actually have turrets. Wink, wink. We'll uh, start damaging you now. Wow, core is overheating. Okay, then. And we'll target you. It doesn't look like this one's doing anything. Oh, that's because it's dead. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be dead. Oh, no. Holy shit. Does that thing still have shields? I think I just saw the missiles flying towards it. This is already down to 59, 58 shields. So it's doing damage to their shields, and I haven't even shot a single missile at it yet. I mean, look at that. Look at all the debris that I... Oh. Ooh. We'll, we'll spawn in more after this, but I think I should also get another one of those drones and attach it to my ship. And when it comes to ships that have lots of drones attached to them, I could do that as well, but it's going to make... I'm going to have to look them up, and it'll be for a separate episode when we get to ships like that that have lots of drones. But for now, <clears throat> they seem to be doing some damage. Um, I'm sure with Overdrive Effect attached, it will be more impressive. Because they'll actually be able to do a lot of damage to shields and stuff. Uh, it did look like this one on the right took a hit with the missiles. And it doesn't even look like it got affected. Maybe the missiles missed somehow. I'm not even sure if that's a possibility. But it looks like they missed. This one is gone. <laughs> they did somehow manage to completely obliterate that. I have to keep that in mind. And you guys will have to as well. Since they are drones... They're technically, they have their own core for the enemy to target, and that means that uh, it's entirely possible that they will be the first things that go, which kind of sucks because it'll be removing some of the defenses that you have. That being said, it's something that you can do in EVE as well. You can target a drone and kill it. Um, and in fact, some cases, it's probably the best idea to do so because drones in swarms, like if you have more than two on you, they can actually kill you pretty quickly depending on the drone that they are. So, uh... Let me jump out of the ship, let me spawn in one more of those things, and then we'll spawn in like... Oh, I don't know. We'll do something crazy. Let's spawn in five. Catalog. Admin. We'll scroll back up. And again, I'll be doing a further tests with this type of... Uh, this type of setup in the future with ships that have more drones on them. But for now, this is a ship that only carries two drones, so I want to see what the effect is. And of course... I will be remaking the drones in the future, so we will be able to see the effects of more powerful drones being attached to the ship as well. Oh god, where am I? I need to close the door. It's just bugging me. I don't want to have the door open. I don't know why. It doesn't really make a difference or anything, but <laughs> I just... I don't want the door open. Okay, so structure, activate all AI. Oh, you are a turret, and you are firing at selected target. There we go. Okay, so they should both be active. I actually have no idea if they are, because the right one wasn't even firing from the get-go, but who knows. Um, let's spawn in five. Let's see if we can handle five of these guys. 
they are shooting at each other, and it doesn't really make sense, but... Whatever. Okay. Come on, you bastard. Let us see if we can take you on. So, 0% shields, and I'm breaking through their hull. One more volley, and I should be able to do it. Then we'll move on to the next target. It does look like there are three uh, dying entities above me. Oh, wow. Was that a missile? It looked like a missile. Core is overheating. Let's back up a bit. Let's take a look. That is gone. That is gone. So they didn't last very long. I didn't expect them to. That's why... <laughs> yeah. Now I am facing up against these guys on my own. They are firing at each other. This makes no sense. Why are you firing at each other? 28% shields. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm dead. Oh, man. Look where I am. <laughs> okay, so uh, real quick. We will go to... Oh, jeez. I don't even know where... Oh, no. Oh, I have to freaking teleport to my... Change sector. So, I obviously did not survive that. I'm going to turn god mode on and take a look at the damage. 41... Where is it? Negative 11... 20? This is not the system that I wanted. What the hell? Oh, 41... Negative 11. 70, not 20. 70. Uh, let's jump into that. Slash... Slash God. Okay, where'd the slash go? God... Mode... Van Helsing. I am terrible today. Zing. True. There we go. And if I uh, go down here. Was it down here? Admin warp. And uh, where is it? We should be able to see it somewhere around here. It's in that direction. I can see a whole bunch of ships floating around. Alright, so I think I took out one of them. And the drones did not help, and I was completely overwhelmed by five pirates, apparently. So, as you can tell, <laughs> combat testing didn't go as well as I expected it to. <laughs> See, but again, this is a problem with core killing, and this is why I want the health system to be introduced soon, because I cannot possibly survive against anyone if my core is in a less, ex like, a more exposed section of the ship. Like, if the missiles just go straight for the core... I'm going to be screwed no matter what. Um, if the missiles were to hit all of my ship instead of just one single spot, then I might actually survive for a while. I think this is one of the ones that I killed. Ooh. That was an explosion. Wow, look at that. I think, uh... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, it looks like I actually went straight through and just hit the core with a missile there. Let's go take a look at this one over here. Oh wow, very localized on this one. I think this may have been entirely missiles from my own ship. That just went straight into it, and of course they're shooting at me and missing a little bit, so it's just blowing up the ship. Actually, they're not even missing, it's just the blast radius hitting the rest of the ship. What's the damage on mine? It's got 100% shields. <laughs> yeah, see, they got a big... Oh, that's crazy. Can you imagine being in that pilot seat? <laughs> no, you can't, because you'd be dead. Um, and see, this is the problem. I, I mean, like, if they just attack... Look at the rest of my ship! There's no damage to the rest of my ship! If they actually damage the rest of my ship, then, you know, maybe I'd actually survive long? You know, maybe I'd survive as long as I'm supposed to. I'm really, really hoping that they change how missiles track enemies. I really am, because I am sick of getting core killed by missiles. It's just so cheaty. It, just, it really is. It really is. And even with um, turrets, they, uh, they aim for the core. So it's like, you can't really win, no matter what weapon you choose. Um, by turrets, I mean cannons, and like, you know, not missile guns. 
So yeah, um, I will say though that this little broken beam right here is actually really cool, and I think that looks nice for a, you know, a damage effect. That being said, I kind of want that damage to be applied to the rest of the ship. I want cores to be not targeted as often as they are right now, if at all. I mean, target the core when everything else is done. When like 90% of the hull is gone and, well not 90%, but like 70% of the hull is damaged to a certain degree, any degree, and uh, all the shields are down, then you can target the core and kill me. I would have no problem with that, but I want my ship to actually take damage before then. And as you can see, me going up against five pirates totally did not do anything for that. It just, no damage to any part of my ship except where the core is. So I really hope they fix that. That being said, as you can tell, the test was a bit of a failure. We will try so in the future again with different types of ships that have, you know, all sorts of different stuff. And we will definitely, I actually think... If they manage to get the health point system out soon or start talking about it, I think I'll put off those tests until after the health point system is in place to see whether I want to have these setups uh, and do more of these tests. Because right now, I can, it's just going to be futile. There's no point in trying to do this again if I know that they're just going to target the cores of my drones and completely obliterate them immediately. So, until that happens, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this was Combat Testing with Chris the Nightbringer. Um, I hope you like the idea, and uh, I'll be doing, coming back to this again in the future. But until then, uh, leave your feedback down below, subscribe if you haven't already to see more, and I will see you all next time.